Hey everybody, it's Christian Prepare My 101 here with another knife review for you. Kind of a first impressions review. I'm, I came out in the woods to practice my escape and evasion skills, which is to say I'm trying to escape and evade Wi-Fi and the internet and all the current sense chaos on social media. So I just needed some peace and quiet. And one of the best ways to achieve peace and quiet is to acquire a new knife because knives are like drugs that wear off really quick. So if you want to keep that high, you got to keep buying knives. And I'm just talking real talk here. Okay, this, how many do we really need? But if you like knives, you're going to want more. So what I went with was SOCOM Elite Automatic. Most people, it seems, prefer the manual. Which, why not? You can carry it more places legally. But seems to be that you're going to have more chance of finding an auto than a manual these days. And to me, it just adds to the cool factor of the knife. So I went ahead and got the auto. And it was just like a whole nother ball game compared to the previous knives that I would gotten from Microtech. And I was very, very, very impressed with this knife. So if you want to know more about this knife, don't go away. So let us examine this thing of beauty. It's Microtech SOCOM Elite Auto. Now, full disclosure, because it's one of those brands where you're going to have people that, if you haven't been part of the church of this knife brand for some time, they don't want you to speak. So I'm a relatively new fan to Microtech. This is now my fourth Microtech. And I, I had said before that I was eyeballing a combat Troodon. And toward the last minute, I decided let's go with something a bit different. I'd gotten several out the fronts, two new, one trade. Anyway, let's get to this one. This one is not an out the front, this is an automatic coming out the side. Now, most people that I have seen talk about this knife prefer the manual. And I could understand why. I mean, I would have gone with the manual probably if that was a choice. Most of them were sold out. And I did not want one that looked like Barney the Dinosaur. I wanted the colors that I wanted. So that left the automatic, which there were a lot more automatics to choose from. It's like, oh, well, you can't carry it anywhere. Oh, yeah, legally. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess you can still carry it places. I mean, if you decide to go into town with it and go to a protest, well, I wouldn't recommend that. But let's face it, they need to change those laws. Those laws are so freaking outdated. It's like, why are we even having this discussion? Because technically speaking, technically speaking, even though this is one of the stronger, or I would say it is the strongest action of an out-the-side automatic that I've had, it's still not as fast with hand placement as a manual. Or as most manuals that I own or assisted or anything like that. So. What exactly does this button do that makes it so dangerous that we can't have one? Okay, I d you don't stab someone with the freaking button, do you? So, by law, if it's got a little nub there to flick with your thumb, that's okay. But if it's got a button, that's not okay. Let me put it in simple terms. That's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. So let's just stop acting like, you know, this is like some big dangerous thing when it's not. If anything, as far as hand position goes, 
of what my hand, position my hand has to be in in order to activate the knife it's not like it's not in as secure a, a, a position holding it as it would be if I was trying to thumb activate it. I kind of like have to move my hand position to get it on the button to flip it out. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, a lot of people are going to fuss about, you know, activating it under the duress of extreme combat. But I'm just talking about opening the freaking knife. That's all I'm talking about. But it is a nice button though. Shape's a little reminiscent of like the uh, Halo 6, which is just too rich for my blood, so I gotta be happy with my Halo 5. But this is a knife that people rec recommended to me many times. And I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not jiving with it. Well, everything freaking changes once it gets in your hand. So I watched multiple videos on this knife before I made the final decision. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for it. Because I don't trust myself with another out, double action out the front. This thing feels awesome. It was 300 bucks. Which, oh my god, it's so expensive. Well, for Microtech, there's a lot more mass here than my Ultratechs, which are very close to 300 bucks. You know, like under $20 difference. A lot more mass, a lot more heft, the size. It's a big knife. And they had the black blade, the satin finish black blade in the Tonto. And what is it, drop point? I forget exactly, but you know, the regular shaped one. And I decided to go with this one. I, I just like the Tonto. And the Tonto, I, I don't really feel the need to sharpen this portion. And I am prone to over sharpening when I'm bored. So <laughs> I didn't want to like de-tip the knife because I'm sitting around running it on a ceramic rod too much. And I'm not even going to really mess with this. This came really sharp. And the grind, it, if, it looks flat. Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's even got... I'm just looking here. I'd say it's about perfectly ground knife edge. Let's just say that. And this thing... <laughs> this thing came so freaking sharp, it's not even funny. Uh, some of my other ones, like my Ultratax, they weren't that sharp uh, out of the box. And a lot of that comes down to the shape of the grind of the knife. But this has these uh, inserts in there for the extra traction and grip which feel great. Um, they don't feel cheap. Like, it, it kind of, the look of it reminded me of those early generation, like, Kershaw blurs that had this. Remember there was one with, like, the, you know, Strider camo on it, and everyone wanted those. This is, like, much, whatever this is, is much higher quality. Fit and finish on this thing is a work of art. I'm happy that this is m390 blade that's like the preferred steel when it comes to microtax i've got a couple that are lmax i think i think it's 50 50 now i think i've got two lmax ones and i've got two m390 ones got the black glass breaker pommel this you know a lot of people say oh it's a deal breaker for me but this is only tip down carry with the pocket clip it's not tip up i like tip up but, you know, it's, it's a minor adjustment to how you grab the knife. To me, it's not that big a deal, depending on the knife. So even though the manuals are first to go, I'm still very happy with the auto. And even though in practical use, I would probably prefer the manual, what the auto button does for me in, in, re you know, in reality is it just adds a little bit of a fun, cool factor to this knife itself. That's what it does for me. I mean, it's a badass looking, awesome brand. You know, top shelf automatic brand. And it's got a, and it's got a button. See, so yeah, it does, it does spring out with some good force. 
and with the autos there's plenty of those to choose from and I didn't bring an ultra tech out here with me maybe I should have but the grip on this is great I like the thumb placement here or choked up you got some thumb placement here Uh, let's talk about some specs real quick. It's got an overall length of 9.11 inches. It has a closed length of 5.06. And in case I didn't mention it, you, you close it by pressing the plunge lock. The blade length on this is 4.05 inches. So it's got a 4 inch blade. It's got a blade thickness of 0.19. Blade steel on these are going to be either LMAX or M390, so if you're picky about that, you can always talk to the people at the store and have them check on the model that you're interested in. This is a plain edge, it didn't get any serrations. Black aluminum handle, handle thickness is 0.55, so about half an inch thick handle. Like I said, right hand tip up is the pocket clip placement. The weight on it is 4.69 ounces. Lock style is a plunge lock and activator. Model, model number of this one specifically is 161A-1. And it's a made in the USA knife. But ultimately, it's just a cool knife. So this is a cool knife if you've just gotten bored of all the other stuff. I used to be all I would do when I get into the $300 range is get more outdoor knives. Which I have plenty of outdoor knives. More than I need. So I wanted to kind of up my game as far as what I had with the pocket knives and this one just stands out. Very, very, very happy with it. And maybe someday I will get the chance to get an automatic or get a manual too. I would like that. So we will see. But right now I have the automatic and I'm perfectly happy with the automatic. To me it just makes it cooler. There's that. This thing is definitely this thing is definitely a very formidable piece of cutlery. So here you go folks. That is the Microtech. SOCOM Elite Auto, Tonto Point, if this one floats your boat. Now there's other ones, there's other models of auto, different points, different shapes, different colors available on DLT. I'll have links to that in the description box below. Uh, if you're looking for a manual, you might have to wait a while, shop around, possibly look secondary market. But for now, I was having a lot of fun with this one this is an awesome knife it just is if it's not in your budget that's okay at least we got to look at it just have a better sense of it because I'm a person that upon looking at it many times before just like man I don't think so and everything changed once I actually got it in my hand so I'm extremely impressed with it and I would go so far as call this a Jessica list knife for those of you just finding this video and have no idea what I just said, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's more something for like the people that have watched this channel for some time. But it definitely means it's like one of my favorite things, you know, in a nutshell. Alright, so if you want one of these things, about 300 bucks, 300 bones, head on over to DLT, pick one up. And the buzz that it gives you will last at least a week. At least a week. And then it might be time to pick out another knife. So, real talk. All right, guys. Christmas Prepare Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon. So, see you then.